this. Oh. Hello all, I am currently taking Lambo out for a walk. Making sure no cars out and about. Up, up. But it is a beautiful day outside. Dan Lambo and I have been going for walks basically every single day. And this is the first for every single day for probably like almost two weeks now. This is the first time I'm recording it because there's surprisingly nobody outside, which it's really, really nice out. So I don't know why there's nobody outside, but there isn't. So I'm feeling semi-confident enough to actually like film, <laughs> but yep, I'm going for a walk, enjoying the beautiful weather, teaching him to walk better on a leash, which he is slowly getting better at. But I'm excited because this week is my birthday. I am turning 28. I am very excited about it. I got a box in the mail today from my mom with birthday goodies in it. And so I messaged her and asked if I could open it early. And she said, yeah, you can open it today. But apparently there's stuff in there for Dan as well. So I have to wait until Dan gets home today and then I can open it. So I'll record that. I'll also show you, she already sent a birthday gift. So I'll show you that. I'll show you the thing that Flo got me already. I'm oh, sure as soon as I start recording you, you're like, nope, we're good. We can keep going now. Look at his cute little haircut. Him's just such a cute puppy. Took a picture with him next to these flowers the other day. He is still very much learning the concept of, you know, sitting and staying so I can take photos of him, but we'll work on it. All right, so the birthday present that my mom already sent me is actually buried. It is this uh, induction cooktop with a special pan for making hot pot and I am so excited about it because hot pot is delicious so I am very excited to make it I think I actually have it on the menu for next week to make it I'm very very excited um, and you'll know what hot pot is because I'm sure I'm gonna vlog it next week so you can like figure out and see exactly what it is and experience it with us because it's so good but Flo for my birthday got me these and they are this little, like, th they're just little, uh, like, caps that go on the bottom of chair legs. And they stop the chairs from scratching because you can see on the floor there's all of these little scratches everywhere because the, the bottom of the feet were really coarse. And I was, like, we had felt pads we were putting under there. But because the legs didn't sit flat on the ground, the, pa the felt pads kept, like, shifting and coming off. And then the chairs would just scratch anytime any of us sat on them and moved. So we were struggling to find something that would work. So Flo got those online and they have been fantastic. They work so well. So that's exciting. Also, Dan just went and checked the mail and we have, I have another package. It doesn't say who sent it. So I have no idea, but I'm excited to open it. And this massive package is the one from mom. So I'm very excited to open that one. So first I'm going to open this because I don't know who sent it and it came unexpected, so. Oh, okay, no, I know, it. okay. No, this is not a birthday present. Okay. <laughs> this is actually, um, mom, mom had asked, my mom had asked how, like what she can do to help the church out. And she said she had ordered these, the like communion cups. Oh, all right, right, um, right, right. And she was like, do you know if, like, do you guys do communion? Would you have some? Like, would you use them? And I'm like, we're actually doing communion tonight. I'm like, yeah, like we would use some. And she's like, okay, cool, I'll send you some. So that's what that is. Okay. I feel like my head is not in frame. I'm gonna adjust that slightly. I feel like that's better, yeah, okay. Now the actual birthday present. Some birthday cheese? Yeah, a little birthday cheese. Ooh, card, okay, I should look at that first. Oh, I think it's one that makes noise. It's definitely one that makes noise. Can we smash it? With a hammer, please. Okay. Ooh, gift card. Walmart gift card. Woohoo! All right, let's see what this is. I feel like it would at least like finish the chorus. I can't remember, is that uh, the Beatles or Ozzy Osbourne? <laughs> uh, 
John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Oh, okay, close. <laughs> I thought you were joking, like completely joking, and it oh. says written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Yeah. I was like, oh, I did not know that was a like legitimate question. I knew something about Beatles that you didn't. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're also making Italian wedding soup for dinner. Okay. Ew. Ew. Yeah, mom said that she also threw in some stuff that she had found in the basement that oh, she was sweet. like, she added it in there that it was some of like my old stuff. And yeah. she said, she's like, if you don't want it, just throw it away. It's right. so like we got a, uh, a 100 piece cat puzzle. Oh, joy. Very fun. Ooh. I don't remember this one. This is a 100 piece Narnia puzzle of Lucy and Mr. Tumnus. Oh, awesome. Very nice. Should have that with some tea and some beans. Hey, our electric pump. Yay! Oh, awesome! Because <laughs> we've left at my mom's. I think we actually the other word we wanted. Right? What is... I don't know what that is yet. I'll find the pieces to that, I'm sure. Ooh, I see very exciting things in there. Okay. Oh, she sent some salt and pepper shakers. Sweet! Yeah, I believe this is probably the other apple then. Yeah! Oh, cool! We have apple salt and pepper shakers. This is just massive. Oh god, <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> okay, there's no batteries in it. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it looks like it's a uh, solar. That's kind of fun. There, look at. Oh, well, they are owls, and it looks like it has a little solar oh, thing on yeah. the back. Yeah. That's really cute. Aww. Look at how cute that is. No, I'll just do close-ups. Aha! I found what this goes with. It's another salt and pepper shaker that are I, like wooden apples, but they hang. Ooh, this one has a leaf. Look at that. That's pretty fun. Eww. This one has my name on it. It feels like a candle. Positive this is Christmas wrapping paper. Oh, this is a lot of glitter happening right now. Mom, your choices in wrapping paper just went down some, in my opinion. Ooh, lemon parsley. Oh. Lemon parsley candle? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm getting the lemon. Maybe I won't... I mean, parsley is a pretty subtle, subtle anyway. Mm -hmm. But it smells... It's a very subtle lemon, which is nice, because, like... Straight up lemon smell would be too much. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Shoot. All right. There's this bandana that's cow print mom said she was sending. So I could do something with that. She said it might look cute on Lambo, so maybe I'll wash it and give awesome. Lambo a yeah. scarf. <laughs> this is what I love to see. Reese's eggs. Oh, gosh. Mom went heavy on the Reese's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, Reese's Bunny cereal. Oh, dear. Oh, <laughs> Mom. I love you, but man. <laughs> You're enabling my sweet tooth, and my husband is not thrilled about it. <laughs> not one bit. Ooh, strawberry pocky. Love it. That's cool. And there's two, so I'm assuming I have to share one with you. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, I wish you didn't pocket it. Well, you can get Pocky a lot of places. You can get Pocky at Walmart, I think. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. Paydays. Love to see it. All right. Oh, we got a third strawberry Pocky. Ooh, and we'll have to fight for that one. Mm. This means war. Ah, these are yours, Twizzlers. Oh, joy. <laughs> Thank you for starting that. <laughs> we got a, a new frisbee for Lambo. Very nice, very nice. He will very much appreciate this. His other one was destroyed because he played with it. All right, almost everything else that's left in here is wrapped. There is a lot in here, but. Yes, these. Ew. Oh. I mean, I say ew, but it's like as a 
child, if my mom let me have a straw with that, I would have gone for it. We're out of pickles. Good egg. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> just like old times, huh? Yeah, just like old times. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, you will like these. Whoa, check it out! Come over here so you're in frame. Oh, yes, sorry. Chili Roundup Marlboro. Like, you have, like, cigarettes? I think so. Oh, okay. 50 winning recipes, because chain smokers know everything about chili. There's a note in there for you, apparently. Oh, oh. Should I read that out loud? I don't know. Easy man's chili soup. Okay, this is going to be fun. Yes. Oh, very cool. That's all the better. So my, oh. mom, my mom put a note in here saying that these, these uh, two cookbooks were my dad's. So I definitely think we will put these to good use. Oh, yes. I'll have oh, to add yes. them to my wheel of cookbooks that I have. Yes. My cookbook yeah. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Do you see all those jalapenos on the side? I saw that. I know. I know. It's what? Like, oh. Pizza. <sighs> best day ever. Best day ever. Best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> can't express the happiness. There's a happiness right up here. And there's a happy box, so okay. oh. good job, Mom. Oh, this says Dan, I'm so excited about this. Oh, okay. I love how my birthday goodie box has stuff for Dan in it too. We are one flesh. <laughs> Pain 100. 100% <laughs> natural hot sauce. I might have to try some of the sandwich tonight. Oh, joy, taste the pain, made in the, USA. The first ingredient habanero is peppers. habanero peppers. Water, salt, tomato paste, natural pepper, flavoring, and spice. Mm. Ooh, very nice. We got some Burt's Bees lotion and eye cream. And awesome. This one says Julie and Dan. Can I open it without you? Yes, you can. lot in this box, Mom. Goodness. Oh, yes. The weather radio. Oh, nice. Very nice. Good old weather radio. So it can scream at us every time there's a tornado within a 50 mile radius. All right. Last one. Oh, this is a light one. This is the last one, yeah? Yeah. Aw, it's cute. It's a little garden gnome. Oh, yeah? Oh, that's a cute one. I think that's about to boil over. Cute. To put him on our deck. Mm -hmm. Well, once we have the garden. Then we can put him in the garden. Exactly. Yes. Very cute. Thank you, Mom. This is all really cute stuff. Hi, it is the day after my birthday currently. I did not vlog at all yesterday. Dan was off of work and I was just thoroughly enjoying the day. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older or I am now a homeowner. I am officially 28. It is not old at all. I am well aware of that. In many of my friend groups, I am the baby of the group. I think a lot of it has to do with being a first time homeowner. That yesterday, mostly what I wanted to do was yard work stuff. So Dan and I spent the morning, we had bought a mower a couple days ago, I think I had mentioned. And so yesterday we spent the morning putting it together, getting gas and oil in it. And Dan did just a little bit of mowing and part of the yard where the grass had really grown high. Uh, we lit our little fire pit and burned all of the sticks and twigs that had been accumulating. And then we did some measurements in the little plot that we have back that way that is currently not fenced in. We did all the measurements to get an idea of how much linear footage we would need for fencing if we wanted to fence that in. So that took most of the morning early afternoon. And then Dan and I went out to the movies for the first time in, I want to say close to two years. So we went for the first time yesterday, we went to go see The Courier, which uh, stars Benedict Cumberbatch and it's about the Cold War. I, I don't know if you've seen previews for it or not. Um, but basically it's about the Cold War and it follows Benedict Cumberbatch's character, Greville, who is sort of recruit, who's a businessman, basically recruited to be a spy to help a Russian, spy, gather information and 
and basically smuggle, it was like 5,000 pictures of nuclear weapons and things that the Russians had to help prevent a nuclear war in the, in the 60s. So that was, it was a very good movie. I am quickly becoming a very big Benedict Cumberbatch fan because every movie he, he is in, every movie that he stars in is just beautiful. So we went and we saw that and that was really, really fun. And we were the only people in the theaters. And then after that, we went to Ruby Tuesdays for dinner because I had a birthday coupon for a free garden bar. So I did that. And then we went to Culver's for dessert and got ice cream because I also had a birthday coupon for that. So that was really fun. But yeah, and then we came home and Lambo really wanted to go for a W-A-L-K. So we went for that. He is laying right there, so I'm not going to sit because then he's going to want to go for one. And it's been storming all day and I don't want to get rained on. That was yesterday. That was like my actual birthday. It was wonderful. I enjoyed every second of it. Dan got me a couple little gifts. He didn't do anything major, which I'm fine with. He got me an avocado and a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos because that's what I wanted. And <laughs> And then he also got me some drawing stuff, which is really cool. He got me a pack of mechanical pencils, which are all very fun colors. He got me a handful of like basic erasers and these like slightly nicer erasers. And then he found these. They are woodless graphite pencils. I'm gonna go this way to make sure that they are like focusing. Yeah, these woodless graphite pencils. The outside is coated in lacquer so that your hands aren't getting just covered in graphite. But I used one yesterday for drawing and I really like them. So he got me that. He also got me another saucepan because we've been needing a third saucepan for years and he got me one. So that's very exciting. He was gonna get me some other kitchen related things, but he was like, eh, I didn't want to risk the, uh, the, the uh, here's kitchen things, do the cooking type vibe. He goes, so I know we have talked multiple times about a new saucepan, so that was okay. He's like, but I didn't want to push it by doing other kitchen things. And I'm like, that's fine. I am currently working on more mugs. I got these mugs at Dollar Tree and I got, there's these four white ones and then they also had red and black. So I picked up red and black of each one as well. And I'm going to make more mugs with the logos and the text for our church because these that I made for the experimenting with dishwasher safe Mod Podge video, these are selling. People in our church are wanting them and wanting to buy them and people who know Jesse who want to support the church are wanting to buy them to support the church. So I had made those three and I currently only have one left. So I'm like, I need to get more made so I can get the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on and curing. And I know in that video that I made that was dedicated to the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, I said that I didn't really know how necessary it was. As far as I think selling something, there is a value to me in having the dishwasher safe Mod Podge on there because I do think that it secures the vinyl on in a more permanent professional way than just the vinyl on the mug does. I need to get these going so they can be curing and then that way people will know like if you want to buy a mug we're currently out of stock but we have these that will be available on this date. So you are welcome to reserve one. You can buy one now and then we'll just give it to you when it's ready, kind of like a pre-order, but there's a limited number of pre-orders. That's basically what I've been spending my morning doing is printing all of this off. Like I have all of the white pieces right there. You can kind of see them. Yeah, there you go. All of the white that I need. And then I have the red pieces and the black pieces and I'm just now getting ready. And they don't all look the same because the different colored mugs require different colored arrangements. So, I just finished weeding all of them and now I am working on actually taking the transfer tape and connecting them so I can start sticking them onto mugs. So that's what my afternoon is going to look like. 